وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you Um, uh, Jazakallah khair for uh, having me. Uh, I was born and bred in Denmark, so I have been here for uh, more than uh, 25 years. I'm 25. Um, and uh, alhamdulillah, uh, the Muslim community here is uh, growing bigger each day. Um, so alhamdulillah, yeah, Ramadan here is very special. I've tried my Ramadan in uh, uh, my parents' uh, like homeland which is Morocco, uh, but nothing is compared to uh, Ramadan in Denmark. Um, well, um, we fast uh, around uh, 20, uh, 21 hours. Um, so um, Ramadan, look, there is not that many Muslims here. So, uh, uh, but it's long day. They are long days because it's summertime, and it's not really that much of a summer in Denmark because we have so much rain and cold. And like the past two days, it's been raining like crazy, and uh, just. The two days before that, it was burning uh, because it was so hot. Uh, so alhamdulillah, we get to experience all seasons during summer, <laughs> alhamdulillah. But the atmosphere is really nice, and especially um, uh, close to iftar time and after iftar. So, um, between, uh, so uh, between Aisha and Fajr, uh, the streets are alive, and you can see all Muslims out there trying to eat and do tarawih and all that. That's when people most of the time socialize, I would say. Um, well, we end our suhoor, uh, that's when we start our fast at 2.26 a.m. Um, and we uh, break our fast um, at um, 10 uh, p.m. So that's really long, especially uh, for those working. Uh, those are very long fasting days. But alhamdulillah, because so many uh, try to ha take their vacation during this time um, so they can make tarawih, otherwise it's pretty hard to fast all day, do tarawih, and then next morning go to work again. It's a bit draining but alhamdulillah we, you know we get so much en energy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nothing compared to that because if you fast outside Ramadan it's not going to be that easy alhamdulillah Well, I am from the capital, and um, which is the most multicultural and melting pot in Denmark. Um, and even here, it's a bit hard because um, the Danish people, or the media especially, the Danish media is not as welcoming um, to Muslims or understanding of the faith. Uh, but alhamdulillah, so many other people who are non-Muslims or not even uh, believers, um, most of them are atheists. We live in a, in a very, um, uh, the majority of, of the Dan Danish people are atheists, um, but they do respect the religion. But um, unfortunately, the media is not so have portraying Muslims in a very good uh, way. Uh, but alhamdulillah, even though that's it, the Muslim community is growing bigger and bigger every time people are converting. Um, but uh, I think there is a long way to go. But alhamdulillah, we're, we're, you know, the, um, Denmark is a very um, opportunity-filled and easy uh, way of life, alhamdulillah, compared to other countries educational wise and all that alhamdulillah um 
Um, alhamdulillah, compared to other sisters that I know, I have been uh, really easy uh, or my experience is not that bad. But I, most of the times I experienced it just like two weeks ago when I was in uh, London and I came back. London is very different from Denmark. Uh, and the first thing I was met by at the airport was the security guard uh, checking my passport and asking me for how long I have been uh, outside Denmark and why, even though I just been to London for like four days. Um, and the the way that they asked me was not in a very polite way. So um, yeah, that made me feel like, oh my God, I'm back. I'm back in Denmark. I need to have my shell. I need to have, like, I need to be strong to be able to get through a day here because you don't meet that many positive people or people under, understanding you or just respecting you just by the first glance because they see your hijab before they see your your personality or you as a person but alhamdulillah um you know by iman by uh by strength from allah and believe in good character i believe that you can go very long and people will in the end, understand, understand you. So at the first, I know they, they see my hijab, but I'm so used to it now because I've always been wearing my hijab that I know that I need to be more smiley. I need to be more friendly. Uh, even though I don't even feel good that day, I will be smiling because I know they do not understand where I come from. So alhamdulillah. Amin. Um, well, the poverty is very low compared to other countries, and uh, alhamdulillah for that. And um, uh, the way of education here is uh, very much easy uh, compared to other countries as well, because you get an education for free. Though we have to pay a high um, tax rate, uh, you can feel it because when you go to the hospital, you don't have to pay for that unless you, always, uh, of course, have to go to the dentist after you are an adult that is like 18 years old. Yeah. Um, but the living uh, here in Denmark is very easy compared to other countries, alhamdulillah, because the facilities are so easy. Uh, it is getting harder compared to other countries. Uh, um, to the previous years um, but still uh, like the criminal rate all that is very low um, um, so uh, alhamdulillah we have a good welfare here in Denmark which is also yeah alhamdulillah I would say that if you live in a Muslim community where you can have a mosque or I don't know if you guys can hear the adhan, I guess you can maybe, you should be very, very thankful for that because we Muslims here, we don't have that. We're struggling every day even just to be um, to be allowed to build a mosque. We only have like two mosques now and it's taking us, it's taken us years. Um, all those small things that you guys maybe don't appreciate, appreciate them because if you come here or you see life here, it's we appreciate the small things like seeing a Muslim, saying salam, being able to say salam alaikum to that person, um, have, sharing that smile with the Muslims, sharing the Ramadan greetings, the Eid greetings. Those are like um, the the top of the yeah what do you call it the top of the ice cream or something yeah for a muslim here uh so alhamdulillah barakallahu fika for having me Um, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs>